Hello again, everyone. Edwin Hunter back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about transit Mercury uh, square opposition or in conjunct one's natal Pluto. Now, when we're talking about transits that involve Mercury, they could be about communications, assimilating information, learning, mobility, siblings, cousins, neighbors, and analysis. And when transit Mercury is basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal Pluto, well, this may manifest in uh, communications, uh, assimilating information, mobility, your short journeys, siblings, cousins, neighbors, analysis. It might uh, conflict with uh, issues over power and control. There might be some, you know, some difficulties, you know, as far as, uh, you know, control and having power in your communications, whether it just has to do, might have to do with, um, you know, people not responding um, to you when you need them to, um, being able, maybe it could be some issues where you might be trying to, you know, control others in some cases with, you know, based on, you know, what you're saying, it can give sometimes manipulative communications is how this could uh, manifest in some cases. Now, it could also be uh, some cases as well. Um, I mean, you look at Pluto is about our transformation. So if it's a time, if you're trying, it might be harder if you're trying to transform or make a major change in the way uh, you're communicating, whether it's trying to, you know, speak more eloquently or you're more, you know, about, you know, communicating and maybe if you're on Skype as opposed to emails, it might be a little bit harder uh, to do so at this time because you have the, the, the planet of communication, planet connected with transformation or adversarial um, it might be um, something to where it might also be harder to articulate, uh, you know, major change or transformation you might be, you know, want to make at this time. Keep in mind that these uh, transits don't last that long. They last longer than transits of the moon, of course. The transits of the moon, on average, last about you know 10 hours. And, but the Mercury transits, uh, transits are in days, and it could have a uh, certain significance, but they don't last as long. I mean, I'm sorry, they last a little bit longer than the moon, of course, transits of the moon. Now, another thing, too, is that it might be also harder to articulate matters that are uh, connected uh, with death at this time. Maybe death matters with death might dominate uh, your thoughts and you might be thinking more morbidly at this time, more so uh, than usual. And it could be, um, you know, in some cases too, I mean, you look at uh, Pluto is also connected with obsession and fixation. So when you have this transit of Mercury basically making an adverse aspect to Pluto, planet connected with obsession and fixation, sometimes it may give overly you know, obsessive or fixated uh, thinking. Um, it might be jumping to you know, conclusions or being overly presumptuous uh, at this time. Uh, Pluto is also connected with rebirth and regeneration. So if you're trying to, you know, resurrect something, whether it's a career or work position or just your life uh, in general, you know, siblings, cousins, neighbors, people that were prominent in your early education may conflict with it, with this uh, at this time. And it, anatomically speaking, uh, Pluto is connected with the colon, the bladder, prostate, and reproductive system. So it can be a time where these issues might be a little bit harder uh, to communicate. They might conflict with matters with mobility or your short journeys at this time, local transportation uh, issues. If the pro, if, if those, uh, if you have any of those physical issues, and um, yeah, it might be it might be a situation if you're really suffering from that it might conflict with um, with matters uh, again with short journeys and local transportation now in your mobility this is also a situation to when you look at um, uh, Pluto is also connected with shared resources as well so it might be a time where um, this could be a period where you might be having you know, trouble maybe, um, you know, as far as like, you know, analyzing, you know, whose, um, whose resources 
our hose. I mean, if, um, tra if transit mercury is in Pisces, that those matters might be very unclear and nebulous and obscure as an example. Um, you look at this as well. Pluto is also connected with toxins. And remember that you know, mercury is connected with breathing in the lungs. So this is just a time to be a little bit extra careful regarding uh, these matters if you're in an, in, in an environment or if you're in your home that you know, you feel you know might have some toxins in it it might be you know best to be very careful and maybe do some kind of test if that is possible to do you know the, you know the chemical composition in, in the air at home if that is actually you know an attainable thing or something that can be done I'm not sure about that but anyway now Pluto is also associated with corruption and coercion so if you're like say you're taking a short journey and it might be something where it might be, you know, crime um, ridden area, you know, might play a role in what you, if in going in that, and in going somewhere, you might be have to avoid maybe certain areas at this time more so than usual uh, due to that. Um, it can be it's a situation. I mean, another way, you know, of looking at this, it might be a time too where you look at Mercury again is connected with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Those people might not be around as much for moral, uh, emotional, or monetary support at this time. If transit Mercury stays in Capricorn, you might see these people as overly callous, cold, or demonstrative, um, undemonstrative, I should say. Um, and there's also, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Another way that this transit can manifest, again, going back to siblings, cousins, and neighbors, it might conflict with perhaps some deep research you might be uh, involved in at this time. Say, if, <clears throat> excuse me, say if your natal Pluto is in Scorpio, uh, in the fourth house as an example, it could be uh, perhaps doing some criminal, um, you know, like a criminal background. Uh, check on a family or home member or someone that is uh, you feel close to home with. Uh, Scorpio can be connected with crime, of course, and uh, you know, the fourth house is associated with the home and the family. Now, the thing is, too, <clears throat> excuse me, that there also may be local um, transportation issues that might be due to lack. I mean, Mercury is connected with local transportation. Uh, Pluto is associated with power. I could joke and say power steering or maybe a, tran a transformer maybe is out. But um, but I'm only I'm really being flipping with that. But it could possibly be the result of a blackout. Remember Pluto is connected. You know, it's, it's very dark energy to say uh, the absolute least. And it could also be a situation too. Mercury is also um, connected with news. So news received at this time, it might be regarding, you know, some, well, it could be got regarding some Pluto related, um, like insurance, uh, taxes, maybe even inheritance might uh, not be overly auspicious at this time. It might be something that may be delayed, or maybe you didn't get really what you truly wanted. Um, and, and, you know, in, this, in, in that example, or you know, maybe like for taxes as an example, maybe it was less money refunded or none, or you may have owed more than uh, what was actually anticipated originally. Another thing, too, is that, um, you know, if your vehicle at this time as well, there could be a greater propensity for your vehicle to have issues connected with the power output. Remember that Mercury is connected with local transportation and short journeys. Um, Pluto is associated with power. And again, reiterating what I said before, you may be a little bit more presumptuous and maybe a little bit more inclined to come to mental conclusions uh, too quickly, more so uh, than usual. So at this time, try to avoid, you know, doing that if you, if you can and make sure you get you know all your information uh, quickly. It's imperative to do that. Make not quick, get all your information on something before you make a statement that maybe you might, you know, face repercussions uh, for due to the fact that can be an erroneous statement. Now, another thing too, it may be harder. Again, it might be harder to difficult and uh, more difficult to articulate uh, matters that could be pertaining to death or maybe being uh, manipulated if you were a victim of a crime, some form of corruption. 
those matters may be more difficult to talk about more so than usual. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back. But anyway, uh, at this time as well during this transit, there may, there may be a greater propensity for some issues. It could be you know, with the lungs and breathing, which is associated with mercury. Uh, it could be due to maybe toxins in the air, which of course uh, Pluto can be associated uh, with toxins. Or it might be even mercury is also associated with the nerves. So in some cases, it may manifest nerve-related problems that might be harder to control at this time, or maybe a little bit deeper than you you would like if you're getting, like, say, if you have you know nerve damage to the arms, as an example, like I do. Maybe it's something that requires deeper penetration, like if you're getting, say, ultrasound treatment or therapy on it. It might be where the muscle stimulation me, um, voltage or whatever it is may, may need to be higher than in a lot of other cases. I'm just throwing that out arbitrarily as an example. But anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Lerner is saying stay well.